Welcome, and I hope you enjoy my breakdown of the Firestorm trailer for Battlefield 5. So we'll keep on starting the fires. Cause then we'll smoke out the liars. We don't give up when we're tired. That isn't the way that I'm wired. Alright, so this is what gets me pumped up right now. This is what makes me excited about the trailer and also about starting a match in Battlefield 5. Um, pretty much all Battle Royale games start the same way. You come in, you jump out, you parachute to the ground. But to be able to see that giant ring of fire burning in the background as you're parachuting now, just visually, that just puts me in the mood to get pumped up and get started and get ready for that battle that's about to come. I mean, we all know about the impending doom and the wall eventually going to close in on you. But to be able to see it right from the get-go, for me at least, gets me pumped up and it just visually puts me in the mood ready to fight. This is Firestorm. Battlefield 5's new Battle Royale experience. Fight for survival across land, air, and sea. Firestorm brings the biggest map ever to the Battlefield franchise. An immense sandbox, 10 times bigger than Hamada from Battlefield 5. All right, so this is what has me excited about Battlefield 5, Battle Royale, Firestorm. They know how to make a large map. They know how to make maps well. If they can't do anything right, they're going to make a fucking good map. I'll tell you that. Just their regular maps and their regular modes are huge. You know how many times I've been in a location trying to go to B and it fucking takes me almost five minutes because I don't have a vehicle? That's a big fucking map. And that's just a regular mode, conquest modes. Imagine them making a battle royale map. And it won't be scaled down like in fucking battle not battle for fight but uh what was it, fucking call of duty okay they made a good map but you can tell it was scaled down and the visuals weren't all that appealing but in battlefield 5 that shit is gonna be on point you know that we know that if they can't do anything right look at this map they know how to make a beautiful map okay that's enough about the map all with battlefield signature gunplay visuals combat vehicles the destructible environments all right so we all pretty much knew that battlefield 5 was going to have uh destructible environments i mean for them not to have it would be just a huge disappointment a slap in the face uh th this is what i'm looking forward to in a battle royale game uh, so fuck you campers who want to hide in the attics and hide in the closet night people and wait for people to open up doors um now you can just blow it up and I'm looking forward to that greatly. It's a couple other games out there who've tried to do destructible environments. Uh, Crackdown 3. <laughs> well, but they didn't do it right. Um, you get an A for effort, but a fucking F for execution. But keep trying. But we all know that they do that well. They've been doing destructible environments like forever. Oh, and this right here? <laughs> um, that's going to get you killed. I'm looking forward to seeing how you can call in... Um, cars and vehicles and have them drop down to you but we all know that's going to paint a target on your back so i'm looking forward to see how that's going to play out this is a world dominated by the firestorm a deadly ring of fire that destroys everything in its path um can i just say that was fucking amazing um that's in no other battle royale i guarantee that shit. i will cut off my left nut if you can show me that in another battle royale game now we all know the wall it comes you know it, the only thing different is as it gets closer to the end of the match it gets stronger and like it takes more of your health but that to see that destroy the environment around you i wonder if like that's another thing like i wonder if it will actually destroy like weapons and loot behind the fire so you can't go behind the wall and get loot and then come back because you know in apex legends and then fucking other ones like if i've been known to do that like if the loot is right behind the wall i will take that hidden health and go get those guns or get that loot because i don't want to miss out on that but if the fire destroys everything that just makes it all that more realistic and fun i mean i like destruction i want to see a house burn i'm like if you see someone in that house camping and you like fucking just stay in front of that building and keep them from coming out that's going to be amazing to watch them burn and watch the house fall down on them but tell me no i'm like shit that's going to be awesome fleeing on foot isn't your only option with 17 vehicles available when firestorm launches you'll have a range of choices to navigate the battlefield
whether you're rolling in heavy armor, cruising in a swim wagon, or patrolling the skies with a prototype helicopter, there are a range of vehicles to help you travel faster and fight off enemies. Okay, that right there shows you how big this fucking map is going to be. Um, did you hear how many vehicles they said they're going to have in the game? I mean, only one of them is going to be aerial, but fucking 17 vehicles? And you saw how many tanks they had? Now, that is going to be fucking crazy. The, could you imagine being in a battle royale and just seeing all these tanks going after each other? That's going to be fun. That is what Battlefield is known for. Just having just a bunch of fucking crazy shit going on at the same time. Actual warfare. That's what it's going to look like. Just all these, I mean, like in Apex Legends, it's one thing to see uh, two teams go at each other. But when you see three, three, three teams go at each other and you just seeing airstrikes and bombardments and smoke popping out, that is crazy and that is fun. And that is the chaos that I'm looking for. Now, to see all of that in Battlefield 5 with tanks and fucking helicopters? Come on! That's going to be amazing to watch. I'll just sit back and watch that fight go on. And just to sit here and see that chaos. Gear up as you travel. Common, rare, and epic weapons, gadgets, and armor are scattered across the map. If you're downed in a firefight, you can be revived by teammates. And new to Firestorm, squeeze off some rounds in a last act of defense. Now, this is a game changer. No one else is doing this. Everyone else, like not all of them, but you know, they allow you to heal your fallen teammate. But to be able to pop off a couple rounds with somebody ass who downed you? Come on. I'm going to be, you know how many times I get downed in a match? I'm not the greatest player, but to be able to pop a cap in somebody ass while somebody's trying to heal me, that is going to be fun. That is going to be a game changer. And, well, hmm, well, I'm, now that I'm thinking about it, most of the game, I mean, most of the fights in Battlefield 5 aren't that close up. Most of them are at a long range. So I doubt that you'll be able to pop off a shop at somebody ass if they're sniping you or if they have assault rifle because, you know, the scale on Battlefield 5. But for someone to rush you, and being able to shoot them and kill them before they can kill, well, you know, now that I think about it, because if you, they down you, and you shoot them and down them, then they're down, they can just shoot you and kill you. So that's going to be interesting to see how that plays out too. So I'm intrigued. Although not all loot is just lying around, strong boxes and safes have some of the best items. If you're willing to take the risk. Vehicle lockups house the rarest land vehicles in Firestorm, and working together will open them faster. All right, so this is where I'm a little bit worried now. Okay, so I know there's tanks and, you know, supply drops and everything, but is it just going to be like a mad rush to a tank lockup where everyone's trying to get to this tank before everyone else can? So it's just going to be either you get a vehicle and you win the match, or you're stuck on foot and you fucking get ran over and blown up? I mean... I mean, because that's going to mean like it's going to be a lot of people who need to be heavy and have mines and rocket launchers. And if you don't have one on your team, you're pretty much probably going to be fucked against everyone else if they get vehicles like that. So I'm worried about that at least. But, you know, it's still interesting. I, was, I still want to be have access to a tank. But damn, uh, you imagine how many teams are going to be running towards those tank locations? Pretty much everyone, because that's like a deal breaker. You gotta have a, a heavy hitter. Break out a combat vehicle and you might have an advantage. But remember, they can be counted by anti-vehicle weaponry and gadgets. Complete a resupply point objective and you'll be rewarded with rare or epic loot for the squad. These won't be easy to obtain. Watch for the barrage balloons and you could snag a supply drop, artillery strike, V1 rocket, and even a tank. Now, this is very interesting. This is awesome. This is going to be, for me, what wins and what loses the match. If you get a supply drop with an artillery or a rocket and it's just you and another team or just you and two other teams, all you have to do is drop that shit on them and you probably wipe the whole team out. Uh, hopefully they'll give you enough time or enough warning to get the hell out of Dodge or run, get cover or something. But because in a destructible environment, when you got a rocket, artillery, 
All they got to do is drop that on you. The house will kill you if it falls on you. Um, so pretty much for me, it looks like it's going to be if you got a tank or you have an airstrike. That is what's going to help you win a match. And I'm just interested to see how all this is going to play out. I mean, they're giving you a lot of tools. They're giving you a lot of uh, possibilities and a lot of chances to get a win and to uh, better yourself and get those tools that you need to be successful in that match. But it's just like, shit, how do you prepare for that? How do you counter an airstrike? You can't. You die. How do you counter a rocket? You can counter a tank, but you can't counter that shit. Once some, somebody calls that on you, it's game over. If you don't get out of the way. So they're giving you a lot of tools and a lot of weapons. And this is going to be amazing to sit here and just be able to play and watch these matches go down. And just these people fighting with all these different different weapons and uh, supply drops. And I'm excited. I am looking forward to this. I'm going to at least try to play it until I get bored of it. But it looks like it's going to be fucking fun. This world is a sandbox, and every victory is unique. As the firestorm shrinks, your squad will have to adapt to each new situation to become the last one standing. And that's it. Thanks for stopping by. If you like, give it a like and subscribe for more content coming out. Um, I'm looking forward to Battlefield 5 Firestorm. I've played every Battle Royale game that has come out, and some of them I like, some of them I don't. Um, I have my favorites. I have those I don't touch because I suck at them. I suck ass. Suck monkey balls. But I'm interested to see how Battlefield 5 is going to come out. Uh, I think I might be able to, you know, stand a chance at least win a couple rounds in that. It looks fun. It looks like it's going to be crazy. Uh, and I, that's what I like. I like that craziness. I like that all that shit going on and just destruction and just warfare going on. And Battlefield 5 for me does that for me. So I'm looking forward to Battlefield 5 Firestorm. And I hope I see you out there.